Welcome to Crazy Cool Crochet. And this is one of the very few times when I will suggest using one of the um, least expensive yarns out there. This is Red Heart Super Saver. Um, you can get this at Walmart. And the orange is called Pumpkin and the gray is Dusty Gray. These are both a number four worsted weight yarn. We are also using an H hook and scissors and a tapestry or a yarn needle. Now, the reason we're using um, this yarn is because it's actually uh, quite sturdy and that's what we're looking for. This is a, a little boy's um, poncho and you want sturdy in this case. You don't want something um, soft and flowy. You want something that, that can hold up to um, a little boys running and jumping and rolling around. So this is actually the perfect yarn for that. Now, this project um, was inspired by my nine-year-old grandson who asked for it with very specific um, details. And it's inspired by one of his favorite um, space war movies. We are going to start with a chain of 58. If you need instructions on the beginning stitches, I will go ahead and leave a little white box up above that will take you to the uh, beginner tutorials. Now this project, this poncho I should say, should fit a little boy from about the age of six to nine, roughly. And this poncho is open on the sides, so um, it really will fit a, a fairly wide range of sizes. Um, this one, I'm going to call it a size medium, um, but like I said, it will uh, fit different ages. Okay, now before we continue, um, I want to remind you to please remember to watch the entire video all the way through before you start working on this um, for various reasons, um, mostly because usually along the way I will um, give out some tips or suggestions that might have been helpful at the beginning. So go ahead and um, watch this all the way through. And for this poncho, we are going to use single crochets and we start from entering the hook from this, the second chain from the hook. So there's the first, there's the second. Two loops on the hook, pull through, and that's your single crochet. So we're going to enter a single crochet in each chain. And when you get to the end, you will have 57 single crochets. Now we will enter the last single crochet in that last chain. Then chain one and turn. And now we will enter a single crochet in each space, starting with the first space. And that's it. This is going to be super simple. single crochet all the way across. All right, we're at the last two spaces. I'm showing you this because, especially for newbies, you might miss this very last space here. But as you can see, if you stop here, you're gonna have this hanging out. Also, let me go ahead and do this for you. So there's your little two strands that form that last chain in that last space, and then you will chain one, turn, and repeat. But, um, of course, the best way to keep track is by counting your stitches. Okay, if not every row, then, you know, every few rows, count your stitches to make sure you're on track. Um, the reason you end up with a wiggly or a crooked edge is because your stitch count is off probably. So um, for newbies, to count 
For this particular project, it's easier to count each stitch, each single crochet. So that's one. Don't count the chain at the end. Start with a single crochet. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, all the way across. Chain one turn. Repeat and continue. Start with that first space. And then continue. That's it. Have fun. Okay, so what we have done is create basically a square. So we worked in the pattern for 76 rows. And I do want to clarify something here. I ended up making this a little bit larger. So rather than starting with a chain of 58, which actually would work better for a boy size small, um, I decided to go with a chain of 68. And that would help form the drop sleeves um, a little bit better if it was wider. So I did 68 chains to start and worked with 67 stitches for the 76 rows. Now, the instructions remain the same. It's just um, I'd rather start with a larger chain for the size medium. Now, what we are going to do here is start shaping the neck and the shoulders. So what we will do after the end of that last row, chain one and turn as usual. Now we are going to work in the same pattern, the single crochets, for 25 spaces. Okay, so as you've been doing, insert the hook in the first space, continue for 25 spaces, and then you will chain one turn and continue and that will form the shoulder. Okay, you did that first row, chained one and turned, and now continue again, same pattern, all the way across for 25 stitches. And you will repeat this for a total of nine rows. Nine of the shoulder. And then we'll come back and do the other side. Okay, we've completed the nine rows. When you get to the end, tie it off. And now, for the other side, you are going to skip, let me center this here, 17 spaces. Okay, so go back to that last row there and skip 17 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. In the next space, I've already marked it for myself here, you will attach the yarn, leave a good sized tail, insert the hook, pull the yarn through, create a chain that locks it in, and now do a single crochet in the same space. And then you will continue in the pattern. Single crochet all the way across, chain one turn, come back and complete nine rows. Okay. Now for the second panel, you will do everything exactly the same, except you will work 81 rows. And then for the shoulders, you will only work four rows of the shoulder. 81 rows, and then attach the yarn, or continue, I should say, for four rows of the 25 stitches. Okay, so the back shoulder shaping is a little bit shorter. Right now we are going to attach at the shoulders the two panels and we are putting the two panels right sides together. Right sides are touching each other so that the outside is facing us. And the right side, again, 
has the tail from the foundation chain on the left side. Okay, so you take the two panels at the shoulder, take your tapestry needle with the length of yarn, attach at the corner under the two strands that form the chains at the top, pull through both panels. If you've got a tail on one of the panels, I like to tie them to secure. Now we are using a simple whip stitch, so just put the needle through the two strands at the top, pull through, and then go around and under the two strands on both panels, and just keep doing this across, all the way to the end of that row. And do both sides, of course. Okay, now we are going to attach the yarn in the center of the neck opening for the hood. Now you've got 17 stitches, so leave the very center one blank. Enter into the next one, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The tenth space from the right. Leave a tail, insert the yarn, insert the hook, pull the yarn through, chain one. In the same space, do a single crochet. Pull that tail a little bit. Okay, now you will enter a single crochet in each space around. That's it. That's how simple it is to make a hood. Of course, we'll finish it at the end close it up at the top. Okay, so just enter a single in each space. When you get to a corner, just enter one and then go into the next space. When we get to the end of the row, we will enter the last one in the second to the last space. You're gonna leave that last space open. Then chain one turn and just keep repeating for a total of 35 rows. And we'll come back and finish it off. Okay, now we've completed the 35 rows for the hood. Now we are going to close off the top and we are working now with the garment inside out. Okay, so this is now the wrong side facing you. Okay, so we are going to use the same method and we are only closing off the top. Okay, so you're going to take this, close it up, meet at the corners, and using the tapestry needle with the length of yarn, using the same method we used to attach the shoulders, we are now going to close off the top of the hood. So, attach it in the corner, tie off the tail, and use your whip stitch all the way across. Okay, for the smaller patch or pocket, whatever you want to call it, we start with a chain of 23. And exactly like for the body, we're going to single crochet in each chain, starting with the second chain from the hook. There's the first, there's the second. Single crochet all the way across.
So again, just as for the body, chain one turn, continue with single crochets in each space. You will have 22 single crochets. We are making just a basic rectangle here. So just do this for seven rows and then cut it off. You only need one. We're only going to put this on the front panel. For the large shoulder pads, we are going to chain 49 and then single crochet starting in the second chain from the hook and in each chain across for 48 single crochets. When you get to the end of this first row, you will chain one turn and then do single crochets for 10 spaces. Okay, so we would have done 20 rows of the 10 single crochets. And now we are working on the wrong side. And we are going to skip 29 spaces and then attach the yarn just like we did for the shoulders and work 10 single crochets, chain one turn, continue that for 20 rows, same as the first side. And then we'll continue. Okay, now I'm hoping you caught that correction on how many spaces, sorry, trying to center this, um, how many spaces to skip, it was 28 spaces. Now 29. Okay, so skip 28 and then attach the yarn in the next space. And then you'll get your 10 single crochets. Now after you do your 20 rows, which was over here, you will end up working on the right side again. And now when you've completed that last single crochet, chain 28. Okay, now you will grab that opposite shoulder and you're going to attach into that first space with a slip stitch. So just pull it through onto that chain. Chain one, turn. Now you are going to enter a single crochet in each chain. This is where it gets a little bit funky. So you're going to have to flip this over a little bit so that you can enter your single crochets. And there you go. So just enter a single crochet in each chain. When you get to the end, slip stitch to join back over here on the opposite shoulder and then tie it off. All right, now we have the poncho right side facing us and we are attaching the, the shoulder pads at the top and then this uh, patch a little bit further down. And we're just using whip stitch again. So take your tapestry needle with the yarn and bring it on through from the back to the front and just do your whip stitching across the top and across the bottom. It's up to you if you want to close up the sides. You don't have to though. And then use the same method for the shoulder straps. Now on this one, you're probably going to want to whip stitch along the bottom, go all the way around, around the back, back
back up here, and then come up and do the top stitches. Same thing, whip stitching all the way around. And that's it, then you're done.